well in this lecture i want to create a query method that uses between predicate keyword to find or retrieve products based on the date range that is we pass start date and end date to the between you know condition well look at here this is basically query method to find or retrieve products based on the start date and end date and here you can see this is the select sql query that spring data jp behind the scene created using hibernate for this query method well let's go ahead and let's write a query method to find or retrieve products based on the date range all right let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's write this query method in an action well i'm going to switch to the IntelliJ idea now and let's go to product repository and here within a product repository we are going to write a query method to retrieve products based on the date range well here i am going to type list of type product over here and just create a query method find by find by is basically a subject keyword followed by date created well if you go go to the product entity product entity has date created field right and we're going to use date created uh, field as a range between start date and end date right so again go back to product repository and here we have used date created field from product jp entity all right perfect now let's type between as a predicate keyword and we need to pass two parameters to this query method that is start date and end date well if you can go back to again product entity date created has local date time as a type so let me copy this and here we want to basically use local date time as start date local date time as end date all right perfect now let's add a proper comment for this query method well let me quickly copy this and paste it here so in this case this query method returns products whose date created between start date and end date all right perfect now we have created a query method to find or retrieve products based on the date created range now let's go and let's write the JNA test case to test this query method well let's go to query method test class over here within this class we are going to create a method wide find by date created between method and let's annotate this method with add test annotation and within this method we are going to create two variables that is start date and end date well start date we can grab from the you know you know database table for example if you can see here date created all right and it has the values we are going to pass start date as this value and end date as this value right and our query method basically expect local date time as a method argument right that's why we need to prefer the instance of local date time object all right so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create object of local date time here and let's call it as start date all right and local date time dot off so we are going to basically pass year month day of month hour minute and seconds so let's call this method and if you can see the date the year is 2022 let's pass here 2022 comma and the month is 2 and date is 13 and you can see hour is 17 minute 48 17 50 48 and then 33 is the second all right perfect now we have created start date so similarly let's create a end date 
well let me quickly copy this and paste it here and let's call it as end date and let's pass the appropriate values so this is the value that we pass as a end date so year month day date and 18 is the hour 15 is a minutes so 18 is the hour 15 minutes and 21 seconds all right now we have created a start date and end date let's go and let's call the query method now so query method basically returns a list of products so let's have a list of product here products and then call product repository and then call find by date created between and then pass start date comma end date that's it now we have a list of products so this piece of code will basically iterate over a list of products and it will print each product id and name right that's it now let's go ahead and let's run this JNA test case and let's see how this find by date created between query method works and how Spring Data JP behind the scene create a SQL query uh, using Hibernate for this query method. So let me run this JNA test case now. And there we go test passed and let's see the output of the JNA test case and here you can see the Hibernate generated SQL query select all these columns from products table where date created between this and this right and you can able to see this select query returns three records all right so because we have passed the date range right so we have passed basically the date range this as a start date and this as a end date so obviously this you know query method should return all these records right and that is what we can able to see in the output this is a product one id product two id product three id all right so this is how basically we write a query method for date range right so let me recap what we have you know done in this lecture we have basically written find by date created between query method which takes start date and end date as a method parameters and this query method returns a list of products and we have written a JNA test case to test this query method all right basically we have created a start date and end date and we have passed these you know start date and end date to the find by date created between query method and we got our appropriate result for this query method all right i hope you understood how to write a query method to select the records based on the date range all right great i will see you in the next lecture